Welcome back. The news now continues in Southern Africa, where Zimbabwe's Electoral Commission, the ZEC, has held an observer briefing ahead of the general election scheduled for next week. The commission's chairperson, Prisla Chigumba, who debunked the claims that the government has directed or direct influence on the electoral body, says it is ready for the conduct of the 2023 harmonized elections following successful voter registration initiatives. The run-up to the vote has been marked by a crackdown on dissent and suspicions over possible irregularities. A pre-election debate in Johannesburg last week saw representatives of four opposition parties who accused ZANU-PF of fomenting violence and instilling fear among the opposition. The Citizens' Coalition for Change had alleged that one of its members was stoned to death by ZANU-PF supporters in an ambush on the way to a rally in Harare. In its operations, the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission is not influenced by government, individuals, or any other organizations as sometimes alleged. Section 235 of the Constitution of Zimbabwe guarantees the Commission's independence. And I would like to inform you that the Commission is ready to conduct the 2023 harmonized elections. The cost of living crisis continues to be at the core of voters' concerns, with the last three years having been some of the worst in a decade. In the 12 months leading up to May this year, prices rose by 86.5%, one of the highest annual inflation rates in the world. Meanwhile, businesses are struggling to cope with crippling power outages and an unstable local currency, which lost 86% of its value between January and early June. The voter registration exercise provided an opportunity for new registrants to register and for others to transfer from one polling station to another. Over 450,000 people were registered during the exercise, bringing the total voter population for the forthcoming election to 6,623,511 voters. The presidential race is largely a rematch between the 2018 leading contestants, President Emerson Nangagwa of ZANU-PF and Nelson Kamisa, a 45-year-old lawyer who heads the country's largest opposition party, the Citizens' Coalition for Change. If there is no outright winner in the presidential contest, a runoff will be held six weeks later, precisely October 2.